Yo, what's good, everybody? <laughs> and I just want to let you know. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing with you guys. All right, guys. So on this channel, we've covered a ton of positions. I have videos about quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, tight ends, defensive ends, corners, safeties, linebackers, you name it. I've pretty much done a video on them, except for one position. And that position, of course, is the athlete. What? All football players athletes? Now, well, yes, if you are playing football, you are technically classified as an athlete. However, when it comes to scouting and recruiting, athletes are a completely different breed. These guys are so good that they're getting genuine college looks to play multiple positions at the next level. Think of like a Jabril Peppers type. He was playing safety, corner, some nickel linebacker. They even had him at some wide receiver and some running back. Now, athletes are scary in high school because they will do damage all the time. Because for the most part, they're a division one talent at both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. And so I thought, who better? to look at than the number one athlete in the class of 2019, modern day's Brew McCoy. This dude just sounds like a football player. Brew McCoy. Just has a nice ring to it. So if you guys didn't pick up on what I just said, he plays for modern day high school. And if you guys were unaware, they were the number one high school in the whole country. Not just in California, no. They were the best period. Just to give you kind of an idea of how good they were last year, they had the number one quarterback and the number one wide receiver in the class of 2018. Technically, JT Daniels was the number one quarterback in the class of 2019, but he reclassified. And in my opinion, he's the number one quarterback in the class of 2018 still. So there you go. But I want to see what the number one athlete in the country is looking like. So let's just get right into this video. Yeah. Three, two, one. Psh. All right. Let's see what the number one athlete in the country is looking like. Let go. All right. And before we, this video even gets going, going like that, I don't want to hear any comments about, oh, but he's in a in a bad league. This is the top league in California, so he know he ain't playing. Give me that. I'm going up on top of you. You're weak. That's against Long Beach Poly, one of the best schools in California. Let's go. I get hype over modern day. Modern day is they just too late. Oh, get off of me. Out of here. Ball it on him. And you know JT Daniels, he's gonna give you that dime. Ooh, stay up. Oh, only if, if he only had that balance. Let's see you at that linebacker position. Oh, pff, gotcha. No chance. Homeboy had no chance. Yo, I want you to comment. Ooh, where did it get on top? I would have stacked him a little bit more, but yo, that was money right there. Yo, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, want, I just want to show you what I'm what I'm talking about real, real quick. So, right here, he burns him so fast to the outside. All he has to do is just stack him. He should be like right here by by the end. If he's right on top of him, I mean, JT Daniels, he's gonna deliver a dime regardless. But goes, drops a dime, and it's just easy money like that. Oh, wait, open field tackles like that. I see you. Angles, got him. Way to come back inside. Yeah, no. So we, we, we got him at wide receiver and linebacker. I don't think I've ever really seen. Oh, come down and just kill him. Ding. <laughs> Yo, this is too. Do they even have a guy out there? Oh, pff, got him. I'm trying to figure out what he's better at. Yo, comment down below. What do you think Brew McCoy is better at? Wide receiver or linebacker? Because he's after, he's getting after the quarterback. And hey, they're playing at 49 Stadium. That's that's lit. I would have to say he's a better linebacker. He'd, he'd have to have some better route running if he wanted to play wide receiver at the next level. Ain't going nowhere. Work him. Get your hands off of him. There you go. Work back inside of him. There you go. Big body in him. Come back. Yep. There you go. Nice, nice field awareness to know where exactly you need to get his feet down. Get off of me. Got him. Fake. 
Yo, that was dirty. You see, it was a, it was a fake uh, swing pass to uh, fade, basically. Oh, got him. All he has to do is just bite a little bit. See, this is what you could do when you have the best quarterback in the country, in my opinion. You can, all you need is just a half inch of space and he's just gonna deliver a dime. Ooh, oh. yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I take back what I said about he has to get better route running. This dude's route running is cold. Look at this. Look at look at this. So, he he runs up, does it does a slant, but he see he knows that his his inside slot guy he he needs to do his slant too. So, okay, I'm I'm gonna break this down a little bit. So look at number. I'm guessing this is number six. He has to make his way across the field too, but. He has a defender right here so this spot is basically taken up so instead of going just straight across and having two defenders guarding two wide receivers like really close to each other he runs up a little bit to give some more separation and then cuts across see now even even though this guy is reacting to the ball look at how much further he is because he didn't cut across if he would have cut across straight away he would have been like right here and the guy would have been able to make a play on it but because he ran up to give himself some more space that was just beautiful that was a beautiful play i don't know if that's by design or what but that was just a great play Let's see what you got. Get your hands off him. There you go. Okay, now, okay, now I don't know if he's a better wide receiver. I, I think, he, yo, he might be a better wide receiver. Oh, way to come back for it. I, okay, I, I like, I like this dude's game. I like this dude's game a lot. What to say? Discipline. Get your hands. Okay. okay. I see you. We taking this? Ran him over. He didn't want that. He didn't want that. Hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. Wait for the play. There you go. Man, modern day. They there. That's a whole different program right there. That's basically a college. Going up against Santa Margarita. Get off of me. It'll be interesting to see how he plays without having JT Daniels this year. Because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that he's a bad wide receiver, but having a great quarterback definitely helps. I right, see what you got. Just working his way inside. Cut back. There you go. Always need to be looking at where your quarterback is so you can try and get open for him. Coming off the edge. So disciplined. He's just waiting there to see where, whether the quarterback's going to keep it or the running back's going to get it. What a throw. Spin back on. Yep. Go hunt him down. Go hunt him down. <laughs> Just burned him. Ooh, nice cut. That was okay. That's yeah. I completely take back that statement. This dude's route running is crisp. Get off me. Nice little spin move. Okay, I see you out here. Yeah, no. He uses his body well to get space. I think he, I think I said he's 6'3", 215, 220, something like that. So he's definitely using his body to get space. <laughs> Just snatch that off of his head. He didn't want that. Bat his hands down. Get it after the quarterback. Yeah, no, his fundamentals are money. I love these. Uh, I love those uniforms that they got over there at Modern Day. Those are so cold. Look at the speed he has coming off that edge. Like, you're not stopping this guy. This is what I'm talking about with athletes. Like, he is a legitimate Division I wide receiver and a Division I linebacker. Sit down. Like mo most Division One players, yeah, they play both sides, but they're not a Division One talent on both sides. 
it'll be like, oh yeah, I'm a defensive end and I'm a, I'm like the five star defensive end and a pretty good tight end. No, this dude's a five star linebacker and a five star wide receiver. Eh, maybe not five star wide receiver, like a five star linebacker, four and a half star wide receiver. Got him. Yeah, no, no, these, these dudes have no chance. That was just so smart. Again, I don't know if these are designed like this or if he's audibling on the fly, but yo, when he sees that linebacker come down, he just ran right where he just replaced them, basically. The speed that he has coming off the edge is like absolutely unfair. Oh, we taking this. Pick it up, scoop and score. Lego! <laughs> All right, but as you guys can clearly see, Brew McCoy is a beast out here. Like, honestly, he can go to any school he wants to play either wide receiver or linebacker. He's that talented at both positions. And it looks like he's a lock to become a USC Trojan. So, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, modern day, keep on shoveling your best talent to USC because it, it, it just works out nice. Because you know I'm excited to see JT Daniels and Amon Ross A. Brown next year. If you guys haven't seen those guys that I've been talking about this whole video, there, there'll be a link. I think right here. Yeah. All right, guys, but I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, can we get this video to 400 likes? Because that lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see, because that's how I know who you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am coming out with. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, but with that all being said, I hope that you guys all have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.